everyone. Hope you're having a wonderful day. It's been a long time since I've done a video of me talking about something with my vegan life. And my husband got me this new tripod, which is so nice because I can just adjust it. It's, I usually prop my camera up on like boxes and random things to make it work. So this is really nice. Um, a few days ago I posted on Instagram a picture of my daughter and just started talking about, you know, um, vegan life with a husband who is non-vegan. And I think there's a lot of interesting things, like a lot of dynamic to a relationship like this. Um, it's kind of like being with someone who's a different religion than you or um, just like, I mean, yeah, like we're completely opposite when it comes to food, completely. So I thought it would be interesting to do a video and just talk about some of the, the struggles that I, we do have, which is real, and every couple has struggles, you know, with, it could be about anything. And then some of the things that we do to compromise and to make it work. Um, first of all, and I said this in my post too, uh, my husband has been very supportive of my vegan lifestyle choice. Um, which is, I know that's odd to say, even though he's not doing it himself. But he's okay with it, and he um, he doesn't badmouth me. He sticks up for me. Um, if people ask him questions when I'm not around, he always sticks up for me and backs me up and gives my gives his support, which is huge. That's that's huge. So we've been married for 11 years, and I've been vegan for the past through almost three years. So. It's not like I could just expect him to change his whole life because I decided to change mine. Um, so yes, you know, it's not something that would split us apart. We still stay together. Uh, when I got pregnant, I had just went vegan, not just like a couple months before. So I had decided that, you know, this new baby that would come, I would raise her vegan as best I could. And let her, of course, you know, have that decision as she grows up of what she wants to do. I would never force it on her. But I think as a baby and as a toddler, before she understands, I would just, we decided we would just give her vegan food, cut out, you know, all animal stuff until she knows the truth behind it and then she can make her decision. So, you know, obviously one struggle that we've had is if she wants to eat dad's food, uh, she sees him eating food and I don't expect him to hide um, I don't expect him to, you know, eat in the closet. <laughs> so he eats freely in the house. And she's just kind of learned to usually not eat from his plate, but sometimes she does. And if she wants to eat from his plate, he tries to give her something that's okay to give her. Like a vegetable or some of his pasta or his bread or rice or whatever it is that he can give her. So that he doesn't feel like he's left out from sharing with her. Because she always eats off my plate and shares with me all the time. So sometimes we do eat vegan meals together. It's not that we never do, but we don't very often. Um, and even before I went vegan, my husband has always, <laughs> he's always um, just liked different food than me. So I was very health conscious before I went vegan, like in a different way, you know, like before I figured out that meat and dairy were bad for you, then I was still trying to be healthy in that world. And he oftentimes didn't want what I was eating anyway. So we've always kind of been divided about it. So it wasn't like super life changing for him, but yes, it was still an adjustment. But you know, there's times when I will buy like some mock meat and make something um, to seem non-vegan to him, even though it is vegan and he's okay with that. And then he likes to eat it because it feels like there's meat in the dish and he likes that. And there's certain vegan dishes I make without mock meat that he does like. And sometimes, you know, it just goes back and forth. Depends on the day, what we're doing. The biggest struggle I think will be going into unknown territory. So as Giselle grows up, it starts to get older, she's gonna ask more questions and ask why daddy's doing it and not mommy. And when we get to that point, we'll get to that point. But for now, this is what we're doing. Um, but I would really love to hear from anyone else out there who's maybe already crossed those bridges, how you handled that and what you did, what kind of conversations that you had. Um, I, uh, one of my friends on Instagram said, you know, I don't want my husband to look like the bad guy because she's also vegan and her husband's not and she has a little boy. And that's a very valid point she brings up. I don't want my husband to look like the bad guy either. 
So I think it would probably be up to him to explain himself to her. I don't think that'd be my place. So if she asks me why I eat vegan, I'm, yeah, she's, I'm laying everything out and being totally honest with her. I think that's how it should be. She needs to know what happens to the animals, why it's not good for your body to eat them, stuff like that. And I'll be straight up with her. If she asks dad why he eats them, I'm not sure what he's going to tell her. He'll have to figure that out on his own of what he wants to tell her. Um, but I'm going to tell her, you know, why I do it and just lead by example and see what she decides to do. And I think that's all we can do at this point is just lead by example. And, you know, if our partners end up changing, great. If they don't, they don't. But I think there's always that hope, you know. <laughs> so, um, also on a side note, I don't, I don't buy meat and dairy. So if, if dad wants it, he has to go and buy it himself. And sometimes he's not motivated to go buy it. So sometimes there's not milk in the fridge and there's not meat in the freezer. It just depends on if he goes and does his own grocery shopping. <laughs> I think he goes out more. Um, he goes out to eat more when he's out for like lunch and stuff. But yeah, so I don't prepare any meat for him or buy it. He just does that on his own. If you guys feel sorry for him, you shouldn't. He's totally fine with it. I promise. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it gave you a little bit of insight to my life with a non-vegan husband and a daughter who's vegan. Um, I would love to hear comments and feedback and suggestions and tips, anything you guys have to offer. Um, anyone out there that can connect with me, that would be awesome. I would love to hear your experiences, your stories with this. And yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you on the next video. Love you guys. Bye.